So the wise eyes fairy tale fan has noticed something that's going on in the chapters and that there is a countdown going of sorts in the series. If people don't know, this start at chapter 483 of the manga, with the title being known as The Seven Stars, in, was being prominent on the chapter. Now, people didn't really think about this at first, but then when there was a, a certain second chapter that started coming out saying The Monstrous Six, and then a third chapter coming out known as Five Days Worth of Food, and then the next chapter after that, so fourth one being known as The Fourth Guest, Hero isn't being known for being subtle, so this is a clearly a hint to be going, there is something that's going to be happening going down when we go and probably count down to one or count down to zero. So something is going to be happening. Now the biggest question is, is like, what is going to be happening at this time? We've still got a month's worth of material to find out what's going to be happening at this point. Now whether or not it's going to be chapter when it hits the one point, or if it's going to be hitting the zero point, that is the question. This might be the actual time that we might actually get to see Natsu E and D. Maybe that's the case like when we see August, maybe when he clashes within, this might activate it in some way. I still believe that we are going to see this some at some point in the end of the series. Like maybe this might be the point that will be like actually activated. I don't know. That might be a little bit too early for it. Although everyone thought that he was going to go crazy when he first fought like Zerath in that first clash. Although that could also mean that maybe someone might die or something some big revelation or something is going to be happening. What other stuff have we got in the series that needs to be told, that needs to happen? Well, there could be a death in some way, maybe, I don't know, like, maybe, but like, Brand is just the one that's looking a little bit op optimal for, like, the death right now, because I feel like since, obviously, she's betrayed her country, and I think, like, since August is going to be there, that's what's going to happen. Maybe, like, when that co uh, comes around, that when they meet with August, she tries to negotiate with peace, that August is just going to blow her stomach out and just completely, like, just go crazy and say, no, I'm going to slaughter all of you. That's what it is. That could potentially be the thing that triggers Natsu going into the END form. But then as well, like, maybe that could just be the hint as well, saying that maybe someone is going to die at this point or some sort of thing is going to be happening, like some sort of event. Now, I do want to do a complete video on this, but a lot of people say it's something to do with the Ankaserum curse, that Ankaserum himself is going to be born in some way. Now, like, I don't want to go too much into details of that, but that could be somewhere that could potentially lead with that, since we do know that there's some big stuff going to be happening with him. Also, as well, we've got to consider maybe Serena could come back as well, because I still believe, you know, even though the Serena had a... A giant hole in his chest. I do believe Serena is going to come back. I think he was a bit too much of a big play to actually get like uh, like when they were building him up. I still think there is something that they can do with this character. I mean, he had like all the dragon Lakuma inside of them, and it's like he was apparently considered one of the threats that could take down Agnologia. But as we're talking Agnologia, maybe that might be the countdown of him actually flying down and crashing down and saying, "I'm stepping on this wall now." This is my part of time to actually wreck shit up. And he might actually fight Zerath at this point. Maybe he goes down and he's like, I need a challenge. I'm bored. I've got, like, I've looked for the Dragon Slayers. I don't care anymore for them. I want to go against you. None of them are fully ripe enough to even go against me. I want to fight you, Zera. So, if that's the case, like, if we have, like, at this point, Agnologia just jumps down and he just starts wrecking a helmet on the battlefield. He doesn't care if he's hitting, like, the fairy tale side or he doesn't care if he's hitting Zera's side with the Spriggans. That'd be awesome. Or, like, either, like, you got at that point, it's like everyone's trying to, like, gang up on, like, Agnologia or, like, everyone's fighting everyone. Like, no, you don't know who's your enemy at that point. Like, you're just fighting left and right. Now that is what I want to see, that will be a, just a giant clusterfuck of the war. This is obviously going to be at the very worst timing, because like, we've got people that are already injured and out of energy at this point. If this is going to be happening in the next four chapters, then I doubt that everyone's going to be fully recovered to this. Like, Grey, Lux, like all of those characters, especially as well as Wendy, they're completely physically exhausted. Urza is pretty much unable to fight, She, even though she was pretty much bedridden in the first place going against the first Spriggan, she couldn't, like, when she was trying to deal with the second one alongside with Jalal, they couldn't do it. So the only capable fighters that we still got, Natsu and Lucy, are going with Branish to deal with this thing with August, which doesn't look like it's going to be going well at all. Ray and Judy, like, maybe they might be the actual only fighters there that still haven't used all their, like, magic power at all. you still got, like, a Leon and, like, all the mermaid heel characters. you got still them. you got still got, like, Kaga, but you got, like, Jalal. Like, you got all, like, people of the Crab Sorcerer as well, and we still haven't seen the Arashi Tastes arrived yet in this war. We still have a bunch of characters to like to ha happily take over this war while we got some ca uh, capable hands in there. But we have got Mira Jane 
and Gargiel. They're currently going to be facing off as we got Gargiel facing off against Bradman. And we got Mira Jane that's probably going to be facing against Aline or, what it, or the other Spriggan member. And then we've got Aline over there and like the only other capable fighters that we've got over there. And for Lady Lizana and they're nowhere near strong enough to take down a Spriggan on their own. Doubt Elfman's going to be there to do anything as well, but those three as well, they, there's no way they can take down a Spriggan. This countdown is obviously going to be something of power or of worth. I don't think like like Hiro Mashima would just do a countdown just say, oh yeah, here you go. So it's either out of the capable system scenarios, it's either going to be a death, which I know everyone keeps going, mm, I lie about that fairy tale death, so like, that's always a bit like like questionable and all that. I know a lot of people think that. It's the ENT activation, which, you know, potentially could be. There might be the trigger that finally activates that. The Argus Serum Curse, which I doubt that. I feel like it's a little bit too early in the war for that to any of that. Or Acnologia jumping down. Maybe that could be the possible thing. Maybe that is Acnologia jumping down and actually saying, I've had enough of this war. I'm going to fight. I don't know. It's a very interesting thing, though. Like, since it's, like, a, such a vague thing... Like, going into this countdown, like, I, we still don't know what this potentially is. This could be something completely different, like, coming into that. It could be Serena coming back. It could be a numerous, a bunch of things being added into it. We honestly have to wait and see. But I'm curious to see what do you think this countdown is going to be, like, involving it all. Do you think this is going to be involving, like, some kind of death? Do you think it's going to be involving Natsu in any case? Do you think it's going to be involving Zareth? Do you think it's going to be involving Adnologia? It could involve many people in this series. But goddamn, this is a very, like, a little, uh, like, it would, I like here, I was trying to play it subtle, but it's like, da 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 da. Like, the second if we see, like, this all, this theory will pretty much be, like, confirmed, like, whether or not that this is legit or not. Like, if we see the next chapter after the fourth guess, they start putting the third or something in there. Like, that could be a situation where it's going to be happening, but we'll have to wait and see what's going to be going down. But let me know, like, in the comments section down below, what do you think this, like, countdown is? What do you, what do you think is going to happen? But overall, I'm goddamn excited. So I'm really hyped for fairy tale right now. So let me know in the comments section down below. But that's all from me. So I will catch you beautiful bastards next time.